If you will only pause as you hurry through your days, take a minute to look at passers-by beyond cursory skin-deep analysis all the way into their eyes. What beauty you might find woven from the life threads there. Ellen Hopkins. One of my favorite things to do is people watch. While having a cool drink outside today in the warm Arizona sun, I had a chance to do just that. I sat with my friend Sharon and we chatted while watching golfers practice. It seems there's a large golf tournament in Scottsdale and the club was buzzing with activity. My attention was drawn to one particular golfer who was practicing his swing. I was intrigued by his consistent action and warm-up exercise before each swing. As I sat watching him for the hour or so that we sat there, I wondered how much do we miss every day as people in our lives do their warm-up practices? We are creatures of habit, and many times when we see things others in our lives do habitually, we start shutting it out until our attention is drawn to it, much as my attention was drawn to the golfer. What are we missing in each other's lives as we hurry along, only seeing what we want to see? How do we encourage each other if we are not fully present with them. Dear angels, in our hurry up and get their world, we miss so much of the communication with each other. How can we be the very best partner, friend, family member possible and still take care of all we have on our plates? Dear ones, from the moment you were born, you send out signals to each other. This is not a secret code that only a few know. It's your human way of sharing yourselves with each other. You have nonverbal and verbal communication going on constantly. The thing that interferes with the reception is your very own thought process. There has to be a willingness to open to others in your life, or else you will go right past their cry for support. Yes, if they yell loudly or act out, they most certainly will get your attention. However, many times the ones who are hurting or scared will not do that. They start turning inward and shutting off the frequency. You do yourself and others a disservice when you rush through your life. There really is no excuse for overcommitment or for not taking a moment for each other. In showing respect to those you are physically present with by pausing and focusing attention on them, you will indeed see the cause for help or the excitement of achievement. Make a commitment to be a better human. Show up for others and watch how you will make it to your appointment on time. We will help bend the time for you if you meet us halfway. Dear ones, this is one of the most important lessons you can learn. Love, honor, and respect each other. After all, you are all connected. And in honoring others, you are honoring yourself. In ignoring and disrespecting others, you are disrespecting yourself. Dear angels, help me to always stay present as I listen to and observe the people in my life. Thank you. I love you. Namaste, y'all.